What's going on, YouTube? YouTube, man, I haven't did a video, did a video in a while, man. But I was just gonna do a quick, a quick one, let y'all know what's going on here. I gotta do a video, let y'all see the GT350 track pack spoiler, gloss black, and I got the GT350 wheels, 20 by 10, 275, 35, 20 tires. What a difference it made, man. It rides nicer. Um, boy, it looks way better than those 18 inch factory wheels. Oh my God. But here's everything right here. Here's the, here's the Roush Cold Air. All the boxes are in the back. Y'all see all the boxes loaded up in the Mustang? My Lord, I got this thing stacked with boxes, man. I packed it all in here, man. It was like four boxes. I had to make like six. Well, I had to make like three little ones out of that big one. And we're just leaving the villages right now. Sunny Village is going over to this Ford dealership over here. And uh, the man said, bring it Monday morning. The Roush, um, the Roush Phase 2 Supercharger Kit, 750 horse at the crank. Um, they, they, they make about like, you know, anywhere from like 640 to 660, depending on the dyno, which dyno and everything you got. But um, yeah, I got the Phase 2, which, which has a a bigger heat exchanger it's a like what they call a radiator for the supercharger it's a it's a little bit bigger and um some of the other parts are a little bit improved too to make it cool better make it cool better so like if you're at the track and it's hot you know you, the car will run better you can you know you don't have to sit and let it, let it sit there and cool for two hours you know but um of course i'm not a big drag drag guy anyway man i just can't see going out there I mean, you know, you go out there one time, see what your car will run a couple of times, but I've never been really, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, I love drag racing, don't get me wrong. I love drag racing. I mean, um, as far as like going out there beating up my brand new 2019 car, you know, to, to, to try to get it to run a couple tenths better, I, I'm just not for it, man. But I, I do like drag racing. I support all the guys, but, but yeah. I, I guess if I was going to do drag racing, I'd probably get me like an old, an old 89 little coupe little ex-police car like you know you know just put a big ass motor in it with some slicks on it go out there and just beat the shit out of it you know what I mean but yeah I got the boxes in here man and we stuffed everything in the Mustang I could I'm, I'm like 6'4 man and I'm I look a little funny probably driving this morning but I got the seat all the way up but oh well <laughs> it's only it's not too bad it's only for like about 25 miles so yeah but I'll do a I'll do a um I can't come down here and do a review because I got to leave. I got to go for the road, go on the road. But I'll do a uh, complete review, you know, once I get it on there. But yeah, this is the last time this car is going to be naturally aspirated. That's for sure. That's the last time it's going to be naturally aspirated. Um, 460 horse at the crank. You know, they, they make about 415 in the wheel. But yeah, it's going to be pretty sweet. Um, it's something I always wanted to do. Ever since I got rid of that Shelby, you know, the Shelby was supercharged, and I had um, took it to VMP and did a bunch of stuff to it, and you know, and I just kind of I had to sell that car basically to to keep my truck on the road, man. You know, at the time things were kind of rough, and I just couldn't. Um, I had a lot of equity in it, so I had to get rid of it. But um, yeah, you know, we're back to doing pretty good you know thank god you know things are hauling some better loads you know now now that the corona's starting to kind of fade a little bit you know the rates are coming back up you know and, but everything's cool um yeah i just forgot to do a video i hope everybody's good i hope y'all are doing well you know what i'm saying i hope nobody messed around and caught the corona that's for damn sure i hope none of none of you guys you know or your family members or anybody friends or family members um yeah, we're just on our way down here to the Ford dealership, man, to drop her off. I think it's going to take about two and a half, maybe three days by the time they, you know, start on and finish it. And they got to, it comes with a tune. It comes with a, a Roush tune. It's especially designed for this car and that supercharger application. And, you know, I mean, yeah, you can wind, you can get a Lund tune or a Palm Beach Dino tune or a VMP tune and they'll, they'll, they'll squeeze every little thing out of it. You know, maybe get you like another 40, 50 horsepower, and it'll wind it out. It'll wind out a little bit further, but you'll lose your warranty. You know, because as long as you get this kit right here, if you buy it, for, you know, like I bought it from, um, it's a Roush Performance, you know, Roush 
poor performance supercharger kit. As long as you get like an authorized Roush dealer or an authorized Ford dealer to um, to install it, you'll keep your three-year three 36,000 bumper-to-bumper warranty. So if something happens, like, you know, say this transmission blows up, you know, they'll, they're, they're going to fix it. They're not going to blame it on that, you know, because... Because Roush, you know, <clears throat> and Ford got together and collaborated, I guess, on it and come up with a good tune, you know, that was safe for safe for the car and everything. So, but yeah, that's how that works. You know, that's the reason why I bought this kid too. A lot of people said, well, why do you buy a Whipple, man? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, Whipple, Whipple's a good supercharger. Well, I mean, what, what, what am I really going to gain? Maybe another 50, 60, 75 horsepower, another 100? And then I, then I have no warranty. You know, say, they said something about they got a warranty, but I don't know. I don't believe it. I don't believe Ford's gonna. I don't believe Ford's gonna um, gonna warranty the car if uh, you put a Whipple supercharger on there. You know what I'm saying? With some other tune, Lund tune, or you know what I'm saying? That's just the way I look at it. But I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong too. Though you know, either way. But I just felt comfortable with this because I'm not trying to go out there and run an eight second. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to go out there and run eight. You know? You know what I'm saying? It's just my. It's my daily. It's my. Well, not daily because that big old white max my daily driver but um this is what you call my weekend cruiser this is my weekend cruiser boy this was a good place to eat right here this was um the old coffee house man it had good food boy i'm talking old-fashioned homemade like you know they had a nice little buffet at one time too man with fried chicken ham you name them meatloaf roast beef like you know like 10.99 man old country folks man like older ladies were cooking the food and Real nice people, man. But I, I, I guess they went out, you know. I, I um, well, obviously they did. I'm not gonna say I guess, but they, they did go out. But I don't know if they went out before the corona. Maybe they're gonna come back. You know, I'm not sure. I, I, I don't pay a whole lot of attention sometimes. I mean, I live around here, but and yeah, this is Wildwood right here. Good old Wildwood. Some of the truck drivers say Wild Weed, Wild Weed. They said, man, we coming down to Wild Weed. They got the 75 Chrome Shop over there, man. It's awesome, man. If you guys, any of you trucker guys, you need anything for your truck, man, you know what I'm saying? Go see Drew and Steve and them, or the, or the ladies over at the Chrome Shop. They got anything and everything you could think of, man, for, for your truck, man. They got a polish shop next door. They got a truck wash across the street. IHOP next door is a hotel in case, you you know, you're going to be there for a couple days. You want to get a room. It's a nice little, you know, it's, that's, that's, it's a little bit farther down. I'm just telling you all about it now, but... So I'm going to cut the video short here a little bit. But, um, yeah, this is Wildwood, man. I mean, back in the day, this was big watermelon country before a lot of the development became. You know, a lot of these fields were all watermelons. You know, a lot of cows, a lot of cows. And um, farmland, you know, it's a little farm town. You know what I'm saying? We've only had, we've had like 408 cases in Sumter County. I live in Sumter County. 408 total cases of coronavirus. And there's 123,000 people. So, I mean, do the math. You see what I'm saying? That's what I've been trying to tell people now. I understand if you live in a big metropolitan city like Atlanta, St. Louis, Houston, um, you know, you name it. You know what I'm saying? You, I mean, Charlotte. I get it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But me, I live in a little farm town, man. 408 cases in the whole county, 123,000 people, man. You know what I'm saying? And I had people tell me, why, why ain't I wearing a mask? Why ain't I wearing a mask? Lady, do the math. Do the math. I mean, that's all you got to do. 408 cases, and then half of them were over at the prison at Coleman, the Coleman Federal Correctional Facility down here. Yeah, I don't live too far from that either, Coleman Federal. I'm sure you all know, if, you know, y'all might know a few people in there, um, you know, based on the news and stuff, what you heard over the years, or you might, you know, you might have heard about a few people, you might not know them, but, or you may, you may know somebody, I don't know. But, um, yeah, this is Wildwood, and um, I forgot to do a little, little video, and I hope everybody has an awesome blessed day hope everybody's safe you know what I'm saying salute to all my trucker trucker buddies out there man db dirty broke uh trucker z rlc y'all check them out man y'all check out their videos man they got some really good content uh db trucker z rlc check out rlc he's doing a lot of cooking in case y'all want to you know say learn something about um cooking you know what i'm saying he does a lot of nice um uh seafood stuff and uh he, he grilled the other night uh db went on vacation db's got some good videos of florida down in florida um him and his wife i believe and the family or maybe just him and her but uh check it out they got some really nice videos um uh trucker z trucker z's got some good
good content, good videos. Y'all check it out, though. I figured I'd do a little video. I ain't, you know, I ain't done anything in a while, but I hope everybody's good. Hope everybody has a blessed day, you know. And uh, check out this video, and I'll, I'll have some more with the supercharger. I'm going to do a video when I get the car all cleaned up, and I'll show you all the, the new spoiler in the GT350 wheels. But uh, Big Daddy Trucker out, man. Have a good one.